لا لا زي ما زي ما Thank you for your kind introduction, and uh, I could assure you it won't be the same speech that I made last year here. <laughs> I tried to find it, but I could not find it. Too. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, Excellencies, and uh, thank you for the kind invitation to join your discussions today addressing the topic of uh, how to make the UAE more competitive, where everyone can thrive. It's always a pleasure to be with members of the Capital Club here in Dubai. Your interest and your active participation in the affairs of the United Arab Emirates are greatly appreciated. Let me begin by saying that growing the competitive, competitiveness of uh, the United Arab Emirates in the world is closely linked to the country's relentless march to becoming a knowledge-based society and economy, and is embedded in at least five necessary elements. First, strong national leaders. We are fortunate in the United Arab Emirates to have dynamic, visionary, and far-sighted leadership. Our leaders have been able to see beyond the horizon and to chart a path for our country's future. Their enlightened and wise guidance ensures strong governmental and societal support of development and progress. Second, the nation's human capital. In a knowledge-based society and economy, human capital is the engine of economic growth. And success in shaping human capital is dependent on an effective system of education and training. The challenge for us in the UAE is to ensure that all parts and all levels of the education and training system as well as all aspects of workers' recruitment and professional development are at very high levels of quality. The challenge also is to maintain a commitment to human development in all segments of society, government, agencies, cooperations, industries and private organizations must participate in our national effort for building a successful human capital. Third, appropriate regulations and clear expectations. This, include, this includes the development of common understandings of national challenges and opportunities in the present and the future. It also includes ways to strengthen the institu institutions that make social and economic progress possible. This, is, this also requires the continued examination of current and new regulations and appreciation of the role of government in building the necessary infrastructure and ensuring their practices and equal opportunities for all. Fourth, the business community. We are fortunate 
that members of the business community in the UAE understand their social responsibility. This responsibility must be reflected in providing employment opportunities for citizens and in supporting education and training, as well as being an important source of talents and ideas for the advancement of society. The great creativity and capacity for innovation within the business community can help maintain our country's global competitiveness and ensure that everyone in the country can benefit and thrive. Fifth, national principles and values. It must be understood that while we are firmly committed to a competitive model, both our economic and social systems must operate in ways that recognize and maintain our traditional principles and values. We will continue to exhibit the virtues of tolerance, wisdom, courage, loyalty, and generosity. We fully understand the importance of openness, transparency, innovation, and entrepreneurship. As a minister of tolerance and coexistence, I know that competitiveness that comes with peace and harmony will elude us. If different elements of our population are in, com are in conflict, if we ignore or marginalize, marginalize or distrust one another, if we reject the spirit of tolerance as a gateway to understanding, if we do not engage people different from us with respect and search for a common ground. Facing those conditions that would block our achieving competitiveness with peace and happiness, we must consider how can we, be, we best prepare ourselves individually and collectively to overcome these obstacles. A truly competitive knowledge-based society and economy requires knowledge of others, of their virtues and strengths, and how they may be combined with our own strengths and virtues to create a better outcome for all. My dear friends, if these five elements are working well, our competitiveness will definitely be enhanced. As a competitive country, we will continue to have a successful present and to look forward to a bright future, particularly if we embrace the following challenges with a really, uh, which are really opportunities, not challenges. Enhance tolerance, cooperation, dialogue, and peaceful interaction among all members of our population. Enable greater participation for all segment of society in all aspects of our national life. Accelerate knowledge economy development and economic diversification. Support sustainable economic development and environmental protection. 
expand infrastructure development, grow investment in renewable energy, encourage private investments and strong public and private pa uh, partnerships. Increase support of small and medium-sized enterprises. Increase investment in education, technology, health, and human development. Expand and enhance support for cultural industries and arts. Ensure continued safety, stability, prosperity, and transparency. Grow global partnerships and global involvement. Given the UAE's strong location and proximity to global markets, combined with a strong institutions that promote continuing prosperity and economic growth, I am confident that, like me, you will see this list of challenges as a list of real opportunities to further enhance the competitiveness of the UAE's knowledge-based economy and society. Let me close by uh, noting that we celebrate the golden jubilee of our country. We must also be aware of the plans for the next 50 years. We plan to continue with our success in bringing together the private and the public institutions, national and expatriates, to create a vibrant, balanced, and peaceful society which is focused on improving the quality of life for all of our people. We will commit ourselves to doubling our efforts of focusing on prolonged, inclusive, and sustainable development as well as on achieving full and productive employment for our citizens. And we will promote and strengthen a culture of ethic, of social responsibility among individuals, companies, and government regulators. We will continue our quest for development and high quality of life for all. Sorry for the long speech. My best wishes to all of you for a successful and productive day. We are, as you say, we are proud of the participation of everybody in this country, regardless of their ethnicity, their religion, their background, their social status. We are what we are because of everybody's effort and commitment and loyalty to the UAE success. And with everybody's effort, I'm sure UAE will continue to be a very successful uh, society, a country, and loving peace, enhancing the, the um, tolerance and coexistence of all. Thank you very much, and God bless you all. Nobody coaching. Please do. Thank you very much. Thank you. Your vision, your tolerance levels. How can we export that thought to the rest of the world? 
We are, I'm sure there are many other countries who are promoting uh, this uh, noble and human principle. And we are working with uh, agencies, government, we have established institutions around the world. And uh, we do have many institutions in the UAE who are promoting tolerance. Uh, we are trying to help those people who are suffering from intolerance and uh, marginalized. I think the more we connect with each other and build bridges, the more we'll be tolerant. It's only when we are far from each other that, uh, that create mistrust, ignorance of each other, and we have to promote the principles of the, the human principles. We are all human living in this globe. Uh, we have no other place to go, regardless of where, where, where we come from or our religion. So we have no other choice except to work together. But I would like to assure that all the government, uh, we work together. We work very strongly with the, with the, with the Christian community, the Pope, and other uh, we work with the um, Azhar, we work with our friends who are in India or China or in Europe, and it's, they do appreciate it. Uh, and we, we are committed and determined to spread this uh, principle. Thank you. Shukran. Yes, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Have a wonderful day. Oh, I told you that I just agree with you. God bless you all.